when you were a child, you spoke as a child, meaning you said things that you didn't mean, that you thought you meant. You said things that you didn't mean, that you know you didn't mean. You agreed to things that you knew you didn't want to do. You said you'd be places at times that you hadn't even discussed with yourself and built the route to executing and actually being in place. Your promises were empty. Your insults were heavy. There was no forgiveness. There was no grace. There was no mercy. There was nothing but hard facts that sometimes you hoped hurt. The way it hurt you to have experienced what you were explaining. And when somebody said that you were warring and wanting to go back and forth and being dysfunctional, you denied it all and said that you were just trying to be truthful. But the truth is always edifying. Even if there is a reaction in the negative to it being stated. The truth always looks to enlighten, enrich, increase the awareness of the proper identification of the subject in which you are talking to. If it's if the motive is not correct, it's not truth. Just like I can extend to you all of the pleasantries of being in a relationship, but be giving it to you for the wrong motive, be giving it to you out of a brokenness of myself, be giving it to you out of a guilt and shame for what I've done in your absence that you're unaware of. And I could lean on the fact that it appears that I love you and I can use my actions that are empty and vain in reality. Or I can be truthful when you say that it doesn't appear that I love you because you have a feeling uh, there's an energy, there's something that you can sense, something that you're picking up on, the absence of a substance within me of care and of affection for you. But when people get close to the truths about ourselves that we have not chosen in moments to discuss and reveal, oftentimes we become elusive, we backpedal, and we lie. We deceive the people who are close to figuring us out because we are perpetual hiders, because all of our lives we've been being dishonest. We've constantly, as children, put ourselves in situations verbally, physically, psychologically that we were ashamed of, that we didn't want other people to know about, that we were afraid that we would be seen in a, in a way we did not want to be seen if others knew about. And that's what it is to speak as a child. That's what it is to operate as a child. But as I became a man, as I grew into my identity, as I developed from one who did not know and one who was inexperienced to one who knows and one who is experienced. I have put away childish things. I no longer speak as a child. I speak transparently. I speak truthfully. I speak in a way that edifies all that I come in contact with. I don't open my mouth in little. We call it SS, and I'm not talking about a vehicle that go fast. You just be saying shit. And it would totally behoove you to see this about yourself and to see it about human nature because it is only the undisciplined, untrained, blind eye that doesn't see this in all of us. Anytime somebody says something about you that you disapprove of, instantaneously there is an explanation, there is a justification, there is a beautifully, scientifically backed social response readily available for you. But it's not for what you think it is. It's not to bring this person into awareness of the truth of you. It is not to establish the fact that you're a good person. It's for nothing but to defend the narrative of you that you have desired to perpetuate to the masses. 
you don't want people to see you in a way that you don't want to be seen.